so I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, for you that are visiting us, uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for taking some time out of your night. Um, I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I'm dealing with a cold and I am near losing my voice. Um, so uh, hopefully that doesn't happen and hopefully I can make it through this, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is turn it over to Tuche, who is the current president of the GSA, and she can tell you um, about this webinar series. And I also uh, wanna prompt you that we are unfortunately down a moderator tonight. Um, so it is going to be uh, Tuche, Kat and I um, kind of shooting from the hip. So I ask that you bear with us there too. Thank you very much, Nate. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us today. Uh, so, as Nate mentioned, I am Tuche Aldemir. I am the current president uh, of the GSA. Um, so, uh, originally, uh, Ashley and and guys here, Nate and Kat, we 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 designed this uh, webinar series to introduce our divisions, actually, including GSA, uh, which is not really a division but assembly. Um, so we are planning to have division leaders monthly and then they will introduce their divisions, what they are doing, their responsibilities and roles to you. So we decided that we will start with GSA, of course. <laughs> um, so as Nate mentioned, we will not be able to have a moderator today, but I think it's going to be a really cool environment, informal but cool, so you can ask any question that you have regarding to GSA, how you can um, get involved, what kind, what kind of responsibilities and roles that you can have in the GSA, what is the advantages of those uh, of being involved and, and etc. Um, so maybe we can start with uh, introducing ourselves. As I mentioned, my name is Tuche. Tuche. <laughs> so uh, I'm the current GSA president, and Nate. Sure. Uh, my name's Nate Turka. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate at Penn State and I am the current communications officer. And I think now that elections are final, I am the president elect um, for GSA. Um, and uh, I look forward to uh, hopefully seeing some of you who are on the outside or, or watching this um, after it's already been conducting, conducted through the recording. I hope that uh, you'll get involved with GSA and you you'll see uh, all the neat stuff that we're doing. Hi hey everyone, I'm Kat Jackson. I'm a PhD student at the University of Oklahoma and I am the social media officer for the Graduate Student Assembly. And so we have, um, we have some questions that we'll, we'll run through first. Um, and we encourage you, if you have questions, to just throw them in the chat. And as we go through the webinar, we'll uh, try to address your questions. And if we don't, feel free to just speak up and, and interrupt. And um, so Tuche, do you wanna start us off with uh, how uh, you got involved with GSA and then we'll talk about our experiences? Sounds great, Nate. So sure, of course. Um, so uh, actually my involvement, my first involvement was a little bit um, uh, by chance. <laughs> So we have we have Jason. Actually, we used to have right now. He's a he's a faculty member in, in another university. Jason Engerman. Uh, he he's a uh, he used to be the GSA president uh, when we first came uh, to Penn State, right, Nate? But yeah, he used to be a, the pre, uh, GSA president, and he wants all of us to get involved with uh, GSA. So. Um, he talked to us about that and then I said, hey, okay, then why not, why not just getting involved with that? And then I look at the divisions and I look at uh, the potential responsibilities and roles and what I can do. And I've been always interested in design and development. And then I decided to join or I decided to run for the position of design and development division representative in the GSA. And since I didn't have a competition, I got the role and it was a great experience uh, the, the first year because I got to meet lots of people in the GSA in ACT. And I, I also got to meet lots of amazing people in the design and development division. And I attended lots of uh, meetings, uh, which was an 
incredibly uh, interesting experience for me. And then uh, by the encouragement of, of uh, <laughs> some previous GSA members, I decided to run for the position of GSA president. And here I am. <laughs> so Nate, would you like to go, or Kat, would you like to go second? Go ahead, Kat. Okay, um, so I'll start kind of broad and then work my way to, into GSA. So I wanted to get involved with the AECT ever since I discovered the field of instructional design. I come from a K-12 teaching background. Um, and so I discovered instructional design before I started my PhD and I was encouraged to connect with the AECT community by professors and some other community members. Um, and then I traveled to my first conference in Indiana back in 2015, and that was the same year that I started my PhD program. And um, I've been involved ever since. And when I first started coming to the conferences, I started coming to the GSA meetings, and it just seemed like a really inviting and encouraging group. And so I thought it would be amazing to be a part of the officer team and just kind of take that involvement to the next level. Cool, thanks Kat. Uh, I think we all have some pretty unique stories of how we got involved with AECT and GSA more specifically. Um, I know mine started four years ago in Jacksonville um, and, and really my story is a lot like Kat's in that I fell in love with the field. Um, I'm also from a K-12 background and then while I was attending I did meet Jason Angerman who Tuche mentioned um, and he is, uh, he is a recruiter. Um, and so he encouraged me to get involved in GSA. And um, I uh, initially was the social media officer. So that was my role last year. I've now moved into a new role. Um, but uh, the main thing we hope that you get out of this is there is so, only so much information available on the AECT website. And so uh, we hope that we can kind of tailor this webinar to your questions and to your needs um, and, and you can get the information you are looking for. Um, so with that said, uh, Kat, would you like to tell us um, what your leadership position entails in our division? Yes, um, so I'm the social media officer. Um, and in the capacity of that particular position, I manage our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts. Um, I post reminders for upcoming GSA events. I handle social media campaigns and develop new campaigns to promote engagement, to inform and to educate GSA members. And um, it's, I think it's kind of like a developing role. It's kind of grow, growing. And so um, I've had some amazing feedback from Nate and Tuche. Um, about how to continue to develop this particular position. It's been a whole lot of fun to be a part of um, just because of the opportunity to make things grow. So for example, our Instagram account is brand new. So I've had an opportunity to really like dig in and, and see what we can make out of that. Cool, TJ, I'll turn it over to you. How about uh, as a president, what does that entail? Perfect. So thank you, Nate. Thank you, Kat. Um, so it has been a really interesting experience for me because I had never talked that I was a leader. <laughs> um, so uh, it, this, this, uh, the, this position was actually a little bit adventure for me because I never thought that I would be able to do it. But um, I was encouraged by, by the previous uh, GSA presidents. They, uh, they kind of uh, said that, hey, you can do this, it, and it can be an interesting opportunity and experience for me. And I have to say that it has been incredible experience for me. Um, I have amazing crew, like these people are amazing, the officers, the current officers and volunteers, they devote their time and, and efforts. I mean, we are all grad students, we are all busy people, but these people devote their time and effort, and I'm. I feel extremely, extremely lucky that I am. I'm. I'm working and, and collaborating with these folks. Um, so we initiated several projects. Um, a little bit going uh, like as Kat mentioned, social media as one project that we initiated. Uh, Nate will talk about newsletter, I'm sure. We initiated also YouTube channels and also the webinars that we are, uh, that uh, the current webinar is part of. And that's incredibly 
um, interesting experience. And I, we are hoping that we can help graduate students. That's what actually we really hope to do so. And also we would like to reach out to as many grad students as possible because GSA is about grad students. Um, and it's, 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 it's kind of sad because uh, last in the last uh, elections and previous elections, we, it was a little bit challenging for us to recruit, you know, volunteers to run for positions. It's sad because ACT is a huge community and GSA is, is a huge community within the ACT for grad students where we can vocalize our problems, concerns, our needs to the people and they can address those needs and, and concerns, right? Um, so we're trying to recruit and reach out to more people. That's what we are, we've been trying to do uh, since we took the positions. So it has been really um, interesting and in, incredible experience for me as the president. A little bit tiring, a little bit, but really, really interesting and, and really uh, rewarding. So that's cool. it, Nate, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, CJ. Um, yeah, and I am the communications officer. So uh, if you look at Tuche as the captain of the ship, who has done a, a very good job of getting everyone involved and, and helping out with uh, all the projects that we have going on, which we'll get to here in a minute, um, I would be Tuche's right-hand man, I guess. Um, and so we speak almost on a daily basis. Um, and uh, so the, the communications officer position entails a lot. Um, I try to keep the website updated, although the new website is a little bit different, so that has been a bit difficult. I'm uh, in conversation with Kat a lot about what's going on with social media. And then I also have uh, different roles within all the projects that are going on. So I am, I'm involved in each project, um, and we'll, we'll get to those, like I said, um, but the roles in those projects uh, are different. Um, but with that said, Tuche, would you like to explain uh, the different types of positions that we have available in the GSA? Perfect. Yes, uh, Nate. Uh, so we have divisions, uh, you know, in, within the ACT, and for each divisions, we have GSA representatives. What do these representatives do? Is they uh, attend those uh, division meetings, and in the division meetings, if they uh, have some special requests from the GSA, uh, those representatives come to our meetings and say that, hey, this particular division has this particular uh, request and uh, from the GSA. Um, along with that, we have a, a social uh, media, um, social media officer, Kat here. <laughs> um, we have communication officer, of course, Nate here. Um, we have ethic, um, we have IT forum, uh, so uh, IT forums, I guess, to be honest, I am not sure what exactly they are doing because we had quite um, have some communication issues with the IT forum representatives generally, but I guess that's similar to another division, IT, I, there is no division called IT forums, but they are a little there there are like sub small uh, group that they are doing. Uh, do you have an idea what they are exactly doing? Yeah, uh, so the the IT forum in the past have helped with the listserv. Um, mm -hmm. And so there is an IT forum listserv that goes out and uh, our GSA rep has helped with that. Okay, so yeah, uh, did I forget any any other officer? Um, no, we do. We have a we have a AECT board rep. Oh, so yeah. we have our division reps for each division in, in AECT, but we also have an AEC board rep. That's a two year position, um, and they attend all the AECT uh, board meetings. Um, and then, as Tuche mentioned, our ethics committee rep, which uh, looks over a lot of our stuff before it gets sent out. Um, IT forum, and uh, in the past, there has been a role that helps out with tech trends, and that role isn't. I don't believe it's set in stone right now, um, but, it, but it varies. Um, so with all that, uh, what's new at GSA? And so uh, as Chuche mentioned, uh, we are motivated and in a group of inspired individuals who are uh, trying to make GSA better. Uh, we know that AACT is, as a whole is looking at us and they're looking at our example that we set. 
Um, and so we're trying to set the bar pretty high. So one of the first things um, that we did this year was try to figure out a better way to communicate. Um, so if you've been a part of divisions in the past, uh, mainstay is usually emails. And there's nothing wrong with emails and long threads, um, but we do live in the 21st century and there's like instant, instantaneous ways of communicating. Um, and so we use a, a program called Slack um, and it's, it's a messenger type program and it also allows us to um, kind of organize all the different projects that we go on uh, or, or that we work on. And so with that, uh, we have a new social media strategy, which um, Kat has been hard at work at and AECT, one of their big things is trying to figure out what they can do different with social media. And so they have been looking a lot at what Kat has, has been doing and they are very impressed. Um, and we also have a newsletter. And so in the past, we've had a biannual newsletter that has gone out one in April, excuse me, and then uh, one in October. And so you can look for ours this coming April. Hopefully we'll have it out and finalized by the second week of the month. But in that, um, we include a president's message. So Tuche kind of gives an update on GSA as a whole. We introduce our new officers. We uh, provide an opportunity for programs that are heavily involved in ACT to uh, kind of advertise themselves. And so I believe um, this, this April newsletter will have Oklahoma State as the program spotlight. Um, and they'll get a chance to tell you about their degrees and uh, their certificate programs and what their program is like. Um, and we also have this new section, which we are going to call uh, something similar to a Q&A with the AACT leadership. Um, so we have a bunch of questions that us as graduate students face, um, both about graduate student life and both about AACT. Um, and we are sending those off to Dr. Couch, who has been nice enough to take some time to respond to those questions. Um, and so like in your local newspaper, you might have uh, the daily column where someone writes in and asks questions and an expert responds. And that's kind of what we're imitating. Um, and then we also in the newsletter give our chance to uh, publish our uh, GSA member accomplishments. So if, if they've recently been hired, if they've recently defended uh, their dissertation, um, if they've wrote any book chapters or articles or had any presentations, they would like to share those. Um, we, we uh, give that opportunity. Um, we also have a Tech Trends project going on right now. Um, and, and we have kind of three different things that is happening within this project. One is a, a graduate member musing um, possibility, potential. Um, and graduate member musings have long been a part of Tech Trends and then it gives just an opportunity for, for graduate students to get their voice out. And so for instance, I'm leading one on um, kind of experiences with the GSA and uh, what the GSA looks like and more information about the GSA. Um, another member of our team, Stacy, is leading a graduate member musing article on what the conference, what you can expect out of the conference in Kansas City in, in October. Um, and then we also have some tech trend specific projects. Um, so we have a article that we would like to tackle that deals with gamification. Um, and then more so, this is just a space where if our members are, have some ideas and they need some help writing, we want to provide them with that space where they can ask for help or kind of bounce ideas off of us. Uh, and then lastly, um, we, we have our webinars, which this is uh, a part of, and a local competition that uh, will be coming to a close next month. So if you are a designer and you are interested in winning some money, um, I'd encourage you to submit your design for the new GSA logo. Uh, so Kat, I'll turn it over to you uh, and you can talk about our social media. Thanks, Nate. Um, so for our social media, we have a couple of things going on. The first one is our weekly slash daily campaigns. Um, so you can look at um, our Facebook, our Twitter, and our Instagram. Um, for things that are happening throughout the week that we do thematically. So for example, um, we have Mental Health Monday, where I share an article about just kind of like maintaining your mental health and finding a, a work-life balance and things like that as you go through your graduate program. Um, we have Teaching Tuesday, where I share information about, you know, things that can kind of help you in your teaching practice or things to look for. 
Um, we have career track Thursday where I share things about like building your CV or job interviews, stuff like that. Um, then we'd have survival Saturday and that's just kind of about surviving the PhD process. And then we have research Sunday where I share things about like writing and um, academic works and things like that. So those are things that we have going on weekly that you can kind of be on the lookout for. And I try to find really quality stuff to share with you guys so that you're not having to dig through the information. We kind of kind of help you, you know, bring it to you. Um, and then I also have, we also have the member spotlight going on. And so um, on select Fridays, we will highlight a member of the GSA and just kind of do sort of like a little day in the life of that particular GSA member. Um, and that's hosted primarily on our Instagram account. And then we kind of promote it through our other accounts. Um, and then we have some cool things coming up that I'm really excited about. The first thing is we're going to start doing a Twitter chat coming in May. Um, and that's going to be about how to travel to a conference on a budget. So if you're thinking about coming to Kansas City or if you're thinking about, you know, going to conferences in general, um, we're going to be hosting a Twitter chat that talks about what are some good things that you can do as a graduate student on a budget that can help you travel to different conferences. In August, in our, in, on our Instagram account, I'm going to be doing a things to do in Kansas City campaign. Um, where I'm going to spotlight some different things at a variety of budget levels um, from free to expensive and that you should, you know, things you should be seeing, restaurants you should be going to while you're in Kansas City for the conference. And then we're still in the brainstorming phase on this one, but I'd really like to put together an Instagram campaign during the conference when it's actually happening where people can take photos of themselves experiencing AECT and uh, tagging GSA in that uh, picture that they post and uh, in that tag they'll kind of enter to win a prize so we're kind of looking at like what prizes we can do um, for that maybe like a daily you know prize or something like that so those are kind of the things that we've got happening now and also kind of looking down the line for our social media for GSA. Great thanks Kat and uh, like I said AECT is uh, kind of looking to us to set an example, and CAT has totally revamped um, our presence online. And so we appreciate her work with that. Um, and Tuche, how about uh, you finish up uh, with ways of how um, the people who are viewing this, whether it's live or whether it's later, uh, can get involved with the GSA? Sure. No, no, uh, so basically, um, you can either run for the positions. Uh, we we listed positions before, but we we are always happy to uh, like you know list all the positions again if you would like further information about those. Um, so you can run for the positions. Currently, we are having the elections, so uh, unfortunately, we don't have a, a position currently that except any uh, uh, we don't we don't have any position right now right without any um uh okay perfect so uh but the next year you're always welcome to run for any position and uh, the good thing is that uh we also accept of course the volunteers like we have awesome volunteers this year um who worked really hard one of them was ashley actually one of the leading uh, figure in this webinar series so we had these amazing volunteers. Uh, so you can always volunteer to participate in projects. And then later you can always run for the positions. So how this could help you? Uh, first, you can, um, you can get to know other grad students in ACT. Then you can, by getting involved in the projects, you can make, in, you, uh, you make a name for yourself so you can introduce yourself to other people and network with, with, with other people, not just grad students, but also the faculty, practitioners in the ACT community. So how this can help is actually, I was the intern, uh, leadership intern last year in the ACT convention, which was an amazing opportunity and, and honor actually, because uh, you got to meet all the ACT leaders, um, and then and then they cover all of your expenses, which is quite cool. 
and then they pay you after the conference quite a good amount of money which is pretty cool too and you don't really have to do anything only thing you have to do is the present there like be present and meet awesome cool people and have this awesome cool discussions and the the only way that to get that leadership you know medal uh, is actually kind of show yourself in this kind of projects. So get involved with the GSA, please volunteer in our projects. Plus, this GSA is for grad students, so we we are working for each other. Uh, I mean, we are the future of this community. So if we are doing something today, tomorrow it's going to be beneficial for us. So please uh, join us, get involved as much as possible. We are we will be really really happy to get to know you more. Yeah, thanks, Tuche. Uh, I think something that Tuche has done an excellent job of is getting volunteers. Um, and something that we can't stress enough as a division is um, the, the GSA, it, it can work in one of two ways. One, you can be a member of it and put it as a line item at, on your Vita um, and, and just kind of go along with the flow. Or you can be active and help us accomplish things. And so. Uh, that has been big this year where we've had uh, a ton of different solid ideas and projects going on and we've had excellent um, participation. And that is not to say that you have to be uh, a specific member of the GSA. We, we want volunteers. Um, I, I got involved with the GSA by volunteering um, and it leads to awesome opportunities. And so uh, we understand that grad students have busy lives and uh, we're willing to work with that um, but you know at the same time you get an awesome opportunity to to come up with some really cool projects and, and get leadership experience and experience meeting other grad students like Tuche said and uh, so with all that um, that kind of runs through all the things that we wanted to talk about are there questions out there from our audience um, that you would like to ask us uh, you can either address us in the chat or I would encourage you to speak right up on Zoom. You can also discuss how would you like to get involved and what you are planning expectations from GSA, how we could address your needs, your concerns. So any comments, questions are appreciated and welcome. While you're thinking about your questions, uh, if you're not already, uh, if you haven't already liked our page, our Facebook page, I would encourage you to do so. That's the easiest way to kind of see what we're doing and to get involved. Um, and then, of course, you can always email us or send us a message on Facebook. And we have to to our Slack group. Any questions? Come on, Brandon. I know you have questions. I can see that from your eyes. Come on, come on. I was going to type it in, but um, I guess I can just ask it. Uh, as far in addition to the Facebook page, when it comes to career development, uh, are there any other type of plans? Or um, I know last year they had uh, several folks come in and speak about their initial careers. Uh, whether it be in academia or outside of academia, and I was just wondering anything like that in the future. Uh, are you talking about the convention or are we talking about the webinars? I was actually talking to you about the convention in Jacksonville. However, um, webinars or anything, I, I'm just kind of curious of, of if there's anything available in that regard. Sure. Uh, so currently we are in the process of organizing our events in the convention, next convention. So if you have a particular interest in that area, so please uh, share that uh, interest with us so we can organize a session based on that. So maybe we can take note uh, on that interest. So would you like to, um, would you like to reframe, rephrase your, your interest? So you want to see, meet people from different fields, you said? 
Uh, yes, I would. Um, I'm a PhD candidate at the University of South Alabama, uh, getting to the end of this process. Hopefully, we'll graduate in the fall, if not the spring. Um, with that said, though, you know, I'm always interested to see different people's takes on the field and what they're doing in the field, because uh, with, an, with instructional design, of course, as we all know, it's not, there are a lot of different things that you can do. There are a lot of different areas that you can get involved in. And uh, personally, I just like to continue to learn about that. And so I can, as I figure out my own steps and my own future in it. Sure, I think one of the benefits of, of being, of us being in GSA is we kind of can come up with our own um, sessions and we have an opportunity to plan sessions around what interests are out there. So I think that um, is an awesome session to have when we go to Kansas City. Yeah, I was hoping to put something together and this is something I haven't really, I've talked a little bit to a couple of people in the group about, uh, but putting something together that's like a panel about like common interview questions and what would be good answers to this interview question. So, and working more with a job center, because I feel like that's a, definitely a need um, that hasn't been addressed. And I think our organization is the one to address it, definitely. So there's some things that I've been brainstorming. I can't make any promises personally, but it's definitely an interest that I have as well. That's a perfect input. Then we are gonna have a session on that. <laughs> So thank you, Brandon. Thank you for, for your input. Okay, it looks like we'll have a question via chat. In the meantime, Nate's gonna do a song and dance. Go ahead. If I wasn't losing my voice, I'd consider it. Um, but yeah, since, since I am, it won't happen. Chuche, can you speak to that question that was just posed in the chat? Sure. Uh, so uh, mainly uh, they uh, attend to meetings of the uh, divisions. Uh, they usually have uh, monthly meetings. Um, so they, I mean, just like GSA divisions have initiate some, some projects as well. So you can either uh, volunteer to take part in those projects or they ask particular requests from the GSA. And then by taking that request from them and, and sharing with us, we will try, we try to uh, meet those, you know, uh, needs and requests in uh, within the GSA. So it is like a communication channel between the division and the and the uh, GSA. And also we, as uh, Nate and Kat, uh, talk about uh, those projects. We in, we are we have been initiating lots of projects. It's not really formally uh, stated uh, on, on uh, stated, but also participating in those projects and contributing to those projects even though it's not really formally defined uh, are other, like is the other responsibility of the gsa representatives um i would call it uh, responsibilities even though it's not really formally defined because um, all the projects are uh, actually for for the all the grad students so uh, as the gsa team as the grad students uh it's our all responsibility to, to 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 contribute to this community so that's that's additional i guess responsibility did i forget anything else i think that's spot on and i mean the gsa essentially runs on active participation um so the more active you are usually the the better the gsa uh, or the more efficient uh, the gsa is um and then I was going to say something. Oh, yes. Um, once you once you are elected to a position, um, you'll also have the time between when you're elected and when you'll take that position to kind of um, sit in in our meetings and uh, work along with the person that um, has the position currently. So if you're coming in as the D&D &D rep, for instance, 
you'll start attending our meetings probably next month and you'll have a chance to attend the D and D division meetings and you'll have a chance to work with that GSA rep, see what their responsibilities are and, and what they entail. Um, I can give you an example if you would like uh, uh, regarding to projects and divisions, the question in the chat. So, for example, when I was the D&D representative, the design and development representative, uh, two friends of mine uh, and me, like three of us, initiated a project called D&D Reads. And in this project, we had, uh, we identified very trending subjects in, in, in design and development area field, uh, such as emotional design, such as um, virtual reality and stuff. So, and, and we had these uh, webinars and Twitter chats on, that, on those particular um, subjects. For example, we did virtual reality. Uh, uh, for that, we uh, invited um, ACT members who have been known uh, with their publications in that field and then they came to our uh, webinars and they presented on those ideas uh, on, that, on that subject and then of course it was a, a live webinar and then we had Twitter chat with those people so projects are like kind of similar to that but it differs from division to division that was what we did in the design and development division So speaking of which, I actually would like to hear more from our uh, guests today about what kind of uh, sessions they would like to see in the ACT convention. Uh, I mean, the, what kind of sessions that would actually interest them? I mean, Brandon mentioned uh, an interest and I mean, if you have further interest, please, Brandon, uh, go ahead and share with us and other member, I mean, uh, guests, if you guys have any interest or any kind of uh, request about the sessions, please do so. This question uh, doesn't have too much to do with sessions, but um, it's out of curiosity. What is the IT forum? And what, what is our involvement with that? That's a very, very good question. Actually, um, uh, IT firm, I think it, uh, I don't really know what exactly they are doing, but I think they are dealing with the technical things within the ACT. Uh, so uh, just interrupt Nate and, and Kat if I'm wrong with anything, because uh, I haven't got any kind of involvement with the IT firms, which is my, of course, uh, uh, mistake and, and problem probably. Uh, so I, I know that uh, they're dealing with any technical issues within the ACT. Uh, and I also believe that they have this, um, I, I, I'm a, I, I attempt to say that IT firm, like really online website uh, that deals with the job uh, kind of opportunities and, and stuff. Like, I'm not really sure. Nate, do you have any further input about them? Yeah, my, my past experience um, with people working with the IT forum is, as far as I know, uh, I've mainly see, seen them curate uh, information for the IT forum listserv. Um, and that is the only knowledge I have of, of that. And I think this, um, this cycle, we just had some issues uh, communicating with what, what is happening. Um, with the IT forum. Yeah. Another question. Oh, by the way, we had this, uh, yeah, social gathering. GSA, we have social gatherings as well in the convention, which aims to, um, like, provide the social, you know, opportunities for, for all grad students come together and, and share their, you know, personal lives because we are not just doing all the academic and, and stuff. We also would like to know each other on social basis because we, we are going to spend probably our rest of lives like in the like share, meeting with each other in the commissions and collaborating with each other uh, because we are all working in the same field. 
So it's a great way to make friends. And that's how you get actually great collaborators for future uh, references. Dance event. Yeah, we should have a dance event. Exactly. That's a great idea. Why not? We should have a dance event that everybody can just show their cultural dance figures. A good I'll stress reliever. Right? <laughs> I promise I'll do belly dancing. <laughs> do we have any more questions uh, from our audience or in the chat um, that need to be answered? Uh, and if there aren't, like I said, head over to our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter um, or send us an email and tell, tell us that you want to get involved and we'll gladly add you to the Slack channels uh, that we have going on.